Ryan from quantlabs.net here. I uh, just wanted to give you an overview of uh, the 0MQ in uh, C Sharp. Uh, it's probably the fastest uh, message queuing uh, API out there. It's very easy to use. Code's nice and tight. Um, and this is the best uh, resource I've come across so far using C Sharp, or yeah, using C Sharp with 0MQ. Uh, Namely, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. Uh, first is the um, your context when you create it to open it up. Uh, this would be the uh, set of functions, or sorry, the methods that you would call. And there's different uh, communication patterns. Uh, there's uh, different ones where you could have one application uh, uh, where you have a server and a client, otherwise known for uh, a pub. Uh, publisher and subscription no different than what you'd find in JMS. Um, in this case, here's server and the client. Um, here's the sample code. This is what it will look like at both ends. Uh, you could have uh, one client, two servers, um, one publisher, and two subscribers, which is pretty, pretty well. What? Not sure which uh, way. I'm going to do it with the uh, platform for uh, my incoming message queues from uh, uh, IQFeed. So it's going to get thrown into a message queue, which my client uh, will be the uh, model, core model, which will process the data and then kick off the uh, model uh, trading uh, logic with all the trading rules wrapped around it. So again, going back to our um, patterns here, we have one publisher, two subscribers, two publishers, one subscriber, blah, 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 blah. Um, but the one I kind of am interested in is this one. The uh, two publishers, one subscriber. Um, there's also uh, a, a, a special one called a pipeline pattern push pull. So I'm kind of interested in that. When I played around with uh, Redis, it's the same idea. Um, this is what it looks like. You have a task, and you have two workers, and then your uh, task well, to pull in your data. So that's something I'm going to look at. Um, and I uh, just wanted to show you this this. Uh, URL. Um, here's the code within the within the uh, Visual Studio. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, 2012. Um, the one thing that you need to be aware of, which is kind of critical, um, is how to create the DLLs that uh, the ZeroMQ client uh, will need. You have two lib ZMQ and then CLR MZQ, which is your driver. Uh, this is how you build it, so it's part of that URL and how to build them. So they reside in your assembler, or assemblies, your project as uh, right here, lib zmq, as well as uh, uh, you should find your CLR zmq as well as uh, the driver. Um, so then there's the code itself, um, the different examples. It's pretty basic. You'll you'll find that through the uh, the uh, code, and and you can download it from that URL. At the same time, uh, if I uh, run it, uh, let me actually go into my command prompt. I'm at navigated to that uh, to that uh, directory. So we have here all these different uh, patterns. But I'm just gonna run you the pipeline one. Uh, so there you go. Um, let me just show you what we're looking at right now. It's pretty fast. Uh, so essentially, one is the, uh, here's a task, here's the worker, here's the uh, pull, and here's the other worker. So it's that model I showed you earlier. Um, this one right here, I believe. Yeah, it's this diagram right here. So that's what you're looking at. Um, so essentially, that's how it looks. Uh, it's, it's pretty good code to work off of uh, and a good tutorial. Just wanted to introduce you to the zero MQ because that's going to be part of the message queuing uh, within my uh, HFT system. Later.